I'm Mama Pops. Hi, I'm Papa Pops. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. Guess what we're going to do today? We are, well, we're not hunting because we didn't go hunting at all for anything from the con. So we're just going to do a haul. And I did this right from the comfort of my bed. It was fantastic. So I hope you all enjoyed hunting because I enjoyed hunting from my bed. All right, let's get started. Let's go. Guys, like I said, big New York Comic Con haul today. We got GameStop, we got Target, we got Amazon, which I already saw, I think, earlier. Barnes, Barnes and Noble, Noble, Hot Topic. Um, you'll be seeing uh, Box Lunch and FYE, I think, as well. Puppy Pops is over there. So we're excited. Let's go ahead and get crack. And I will go ahead and show this real quick before we, because you guys saw this in another video, but we did get Benson from New York Comic Con, he was shared with Amazon. And of course, he's the ventriloquist dummy and head honcho slash um, uh, uh, sidekick of Gabby Gabby. So that's a really neat one. Uh, very cool, very detailed. Uh, we wanted the Toy Story ones for sure, because Story, Toy Story 4 was awesome. It's again, also out on DVD, in case anybody wanted to know. Yeah, we haven't bought that yet, but we will be. Nope. So this is a really neat one. This is a shared one with Amazon. Benson, the ventriloquist dummy. All right. Um, so she stopped at Target to get one that she really wanted. It sold out online quickly. Um, and go ahead. Hello Kitty is Lady Liberty. I, d I, really, I really like her. Yeah, I think this she's one's pretty, really popular. She's pretty cool. Yeah. They have a decent amount there, too. Um, I think this sold out online in like minutes, seconds or minutes. I don't know. I, I tried to get it. I, I grabbed get her it. today, so... I'm excited. That was the only one we truly hunted for, and it was, uh, it was, I guess, easy, she said, so. And we didn't really hunt. She I really just, found it in, like, two seconds. Yeah, she just stopped there. Um, what else? We went to GameStop. I did stop there just simply because it's a mile from my house, um, that, and that was just on the release day. There was nobody there, nobody in line for anything, which was shocking. I was surprised. So, first off, we'll show you this one. I am not a fan of the show. Well, I don't know. I've never really seen it, but it's it's here for a reason, and we'll go through that soon. But this is the Hero Killer Stain from uh, My Hero Academia, I believe is how it's pronounced. And he's cool. I mean, he's very detailed, and he looks awesome. Yeah, look at his tongue. I've heard this show's fantastic. I personally have not seen it, but uh, he's neat. Uh, if you don't want to know what the back of the box looks like, too. There you go. Sorry, I don't really show the back of the box. Uh, all my, I know there's a big Chrome one maybe of him released, so uh, a lot of people probably got to that. And there was another one released, maybe at Hot Topic, but that's a really neat one. And then the one that I went for, you'll see uh, the one she went for in a little bit. We have to go find it. Um, but the one I went for is probably my favorite overall figure from New York Comic Con, and it is going to be Slim, the killer clown from Outer Space. From the pop movies line and this one's neat because it doesn't look like a pop it's fantastic um sculpt it's a great job paint job he's got his little gun there there's the back of the box which i think is neat as well yeah he doesn't look like a pop I he just... doesn't yeah there's another look at him he's cool probably my favorite overall design um it was one that i kind of wanted but i wanted to see it in person and it looks even better in person so yeah slim there you saw our mugs in the background because of the glare so cool uh, what else? I guess we could show that. We actually, it was buy three, get one. So we went ahead and picked this up too. And that's the Christmas Mickey Mouse. So that is not a con exclusive. I'm going to say, we have the whole set now. Because yeah. I have Pooh and Piglet and Mickey, yeah, Mickey and Minnie. Yeah, Mickey and Minnie. So, all right, let's jump into these boxes. I'm concerned for this one. This is Barnes & Noble. Um, their shipping for San Diego Comic Con was terrible. Um, I'm sh I don't have high expectations yet again for this, um, so I might have to get a duplicate. Did they actually use a sorter? I might be wrong. I might have spoke too soon. We'll see. No, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Show yeah, show them how it's packaged so they know. Yeah, so there's kind of how it's packaged. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so actually it looks pretty decent. Okay. I can't complain with that, to be honest with you. Surprising. But let's go ahead and show them. This one's exciting. I'm really pumped up about this one. It's Filch and Mrs. Norris from Harry Potter. Yeah. That's awesome. So obviously you knew we were going to get that. 
Uh, Mrs. Norris. We love Mrs. Norris. Mm -hmm. She's one of my favorite characters. I hate when she gets petrified. It's so sad. But Argus Filch, really cool. Basically the gatekeeper, so to speak, for lack of better terms, of Hogwarts. So um, They had a mystery mini, I think, of him that we have. So I was waiting for this pop to come out. Is the box good? Mm -hmm. The box is not perfect. It's a little dented. It's like here. a little dented in, but it's not... Like, this I don't mind. It's not bad. Like I actually don't mind this at all. You can't really tell. No. This is a little dented. But it's like the box isn't damaged itself. It's just where it's been pushed together. So you can overdo shipping as well. Um, this is probably not one I would replace, though. I think this one will only hold about the value that it is. I don't think it'll go up high or anything like that. At least I highly doubt. And it's just for our collection, so it's fine. So Argus Village, we'll put him back here over the basilisk for a second, shall we? And then we have Hot Topic next. And then, like I said, pre yeah, following this, we'll have a, a box lunch and... Um, who else are we waiting for? FYE? FYE took forever for shipping, by the way. So this is Hot Topic. I've heard they've been slacking on shipping, too. But we'll see. We shall see. So here's how they're... Here's how they're boxed. Hopefully in sorters. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh. Thanks, Dad. Ooh, we got some, uh, what is this? $15 off NX50? Really? Are you getting hot cash? Hmm. Tough crowd. Yeah, show that one first. This is a cool one. I like this one. This is Halloween themed. Evil Groundskeeper Willie? Yep. Treehouse of Horrors. He's cool. We have almost this whole set. Actually, we do have this whole set. Groundskeeper Willie, yeah. yeah, he's neat, and you probably know what all's in the set already, plus um, one other one which you'll see here soon. So Groundskeeper Willie, I like that. And then last one of the Hot Topic haul. Keep this back here. I don't want anyone to intervene in that one. Last one of the Hot Topic haul. Um, I'm str we're struggling. This is a big one. You already know what it's gonna be, obviously, because I said that. Okay. Okay. This is a cool one. Really neat. And this is Madame Maxine from Harry Potter. The, she is in the Goblet of Fire and is basically the leader of the, I think, what are they, French? Fleur Delacour, I believe. Mm -hmm. French girls. And then she's the love interest of Hagrid. She is a giant as well. But this is a cool figure. I, like, I really I, like I, that. I don't think we have a pop like. Well, just Hagrid. Yeah. There's a Hagrid. So this kind of fits the same style of box. I like that. That's cool. That's a neat one. I'm a fan. I like this Harry Potter box art, I think, better than the original. Yeah, I think I do. Better than the original box art. So I'm a fan of that. I, I do like that. So yeah, there's Hot Topic. So we'll be coming back here in just a couple minutes with uh, Box Lunch and with FYE. So uh, stay tuned. All right, continuing on with the Comic-Con haul. So mentioned that we, like I said, we stopped at GameStop. You saw the Killer Clown. You saw the stain from My Hero Academia. We also went for pretty much one in particular. So I'll let her go ahead and show. My Susie from Stranger Things. Yes. And she, there she is in her nightgown holding her microphone, singing to Dustin. And what is she singing again? Never ending story. The never ending story. Just, just forget I even yeah, did that. Yeah, that's great. So that's a cool <laughs> figure. So yeah, I've got Susie. Um, next up, it was FYE we got a package from. Um, FYE is a joke in terms of shipping. Their, their packaging is always awful, and this was the same. Um, I put on a, my Instagram the picture of what it looked like when it came. Uh, poor. They, you know, they didn't pack it. They didn't prepare it or anything like that. So first off, we have... Um, I guess I'll show you the least damage of the two, and that is the two-pack of Blunt Man and Chronic. Which I was really looking forward to, and I knew they'd screw that up. So that's not a surprise. As you see, there's damage there. There's damage here. Uh, otherwise, it's not too bad. The back of the box, it looks cool. So this is a pretty iconic scene here. Well, iconic movie and iconic scene. Sorry. It feels really dark in here right now. We were just talking about that earlier. So, anyways, they damaged that, and then the worst of all was, of course, the damage on this puppy. And this is Vampire Mr. Burns. 
from Treehouse Horror, which is a great figure, but again, FYE just it's shoved really everything bad. in there. So this is all just jacked up. Um, it looked cool. It was probably going to be cool, but um, FYE messed it up. So in the process of trying to get a replacement and or refund from them, hopefully I can find another one of these because this is a really cool figure. It's also really, you can't really tell, but it's really punched in back here. So yeah, FYE, thumbs down again. They're one of the worst shipping companies for Pops, right up there with Barnes & Noble and Walmart, typically, so... Next up, we have another one that's a little questionable in shipping, typically, but hopefully they did this correct. It's bigger than my head. Yeah, this is box lunch. I'm excited for this one. I gotta, I gotta stand up for this. Wait, no, never mind. I can't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this one looks like. I'm excited to see this one. If you know, box lunch, she knows is in one CC, so it can only be one. I'm so excited. How do they package? So here's how they package. A little concerning. But I guess we'll see. I'll be really upset if anything's wrong with this one. Yeah, last time. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, thank God. It's in a box. Right. In a box. <coughs> yeah, last time we got Carl and Ellie from San Diego Comic Con, it was pretty, pretty beat up, to be perfectly honest with you. Got a hat cash, or box lunch money, or whatever you want to call it. So that's neat. <laughs> Sorry. I, I actually appreciate them double boxing this. Okay. Man, this thing's big. It's really, I don't know which way to really open it. So I uh, be careful, just don't dig too deep into with this. I, I wouldn't. That's what she said. <laughs> Proceeding on. <laughs> Once I learn how to edit, I'll do those like director's cuts where it's like, uh, like oh. the scene. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this was double box, which is good. And I'm glad I told you to be careful when you open this. Eh, it's not that bad, though. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Looks right. pretty good. You guys ready? Kevin with the up house. That's so cool. I love him. I was very excited for this one. This is in pretty good shape, to be honest. I don't see much. I don't see, like, about any damage. No, it's the back. Wow, that's so cool. That might be one of the neatest pops I've ever seen. So this is the Pop Town Kevin with Up House. Sorry, I'm... Pretty iconic moment from the movie. Um, did we need this? I don't know. I did. I really wanted it. Yeah, like, when we saw this coming out, we thought it was cool, but we are like, ah, I don't know if I want to catch another scene like that. <coughs> In terms of how big they are. But um, after cool. seeing it, we had to get it. So yeah, Kevin with Up House. Pretty cool. So I think all we have left now is the Funko Shop uh, haul. So we didn't get everything, but we got some decent amount of stuff. So hold on just a second. All right. Hey, guys. Finally, we have the Funko Shop haul, basically. So this will all be combined into one video, and I've had to shoot this over separate ones, if you can't tell by our change of clothes <laughs> and terrible transitions, and I'm sure. And that I have makeup on, too. <laughs> yeah, we've been switching. We've been switching makeups, too. I'm just kidding. So, this is from the Funko shop. This took forever to come, like it usually does. Big box, it looks like they, okay. looks like they packed well. Yeah. yeah, they did, they packed so, super well. Here's what it looks like. And then they're double boxed. Sweet. So we got some sorters. I think we got four items, I could be wrong. So let's just, I don't know why it says that. So let's just get started. You're gonna be kind of seeing them with me because I can't remember what all we got. So, number one. He's also ah, doing it. Okay. This is cool. This is Mimic the Monkey from the Ad Icon line, which you know we collect. Kind of glary here. Sorry. It's pretty sweet. It's a shared convention exclusive. That's a cool one. He has like a Pez of himself in his hand, so I like that. Here's the back. So, Mimic the Monkey. To go to the ad icons line. So that's sweet. All right. We're going to put him back here at the moment. Okay. Right. So the next one. <gasps> Pez Girl. Oh, that was beautiful. It is Pez Girl, the blonde one. Let me take her out here. I don't know what I just did to this box. Um, you'll see in the future video uh, the other ones, I should say. This is the blonde Pez Girl. This is an ad icon. 
Do you want to compare it to the other one? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Hold on, let me grab it. She's quick. one that I really wanted, and I'm happy about her. If you'd like a comparison, actually, these are different pops. I didn't realize they were different numbered, but there's the difference. So one's a brown blonde, brown a bombshell. Blonde, yeah, whatever, brunette, blonde, bombshell. Oh my gosh. Wow, I should stop talking. Anyway, one's blonde and one's brunette. Bless Sorry, you. guys. And actually, let's Thank just you. go ahead on that note and grab that mimic real quick. And again, I didn't realize this for some reason. I guess this is, it's the same sculpt, so it's both number sixty-four. The overalls are different. Uh, yeah, I think the overalls and, and then the, the skin color, or for rather. For the the hat thing. on this one's yellow. That one's orange. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, good catch. I'll drop that. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Sweet. Actually, let me Let's show you that there. one more time. Yeah. So there's the comparison with those. So those are neat. And we got two more. I remember what one is, but I can't think of what the other is right off the bat. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot I got this one. This is the no. Freddy Funko as a cop. Officer Freddy. Yeah. I really like this one because it does encapsulate uh, New York City very well. There's a New York Police Department. I don't collect Freddy Funkos, but this was one that I knew we had to have. We, we like New York City. We love New York City. Love New York City. And so he's holding a little coffee. Yeah, he's cute. I like him. That's cool. That'll definitely be staying in this collection. I like that. Sweet. And we have one more. I know what this one is. This is my favorite. One of my favorites from the entire con. So I'm pumped about this one. This is the one I was looking the most forward to. Too. We have Marte McFly. Oh, from Back to the Future. Ooh, look at that cool sticker they added. I didn't know they had that. Um, if you haven't seen quick. Back to the Future, this is just such a sick pop. Very she has nice. not seen Back to the I Future. I have not seen Back to the Future. But she's also a few years younger than me, so that's probably why. We're six years apart in case anybody was wondering. Yeah. So that's cool. Mimic, or I'm just make the money. Marty McFly. I love that figure. That might be my my favorite figure of all of uh, New York Comic Con. Mine's, I love that. Mine's Pez Girl. Pez Girl, yeah. I mean, in, t in the entire realm. Except for the Mickey Matterhorn. I really want that one, but not meant to be. But yeah, so that is our haul. That is the entire... Can I show you again? Yeah. We That's got... the entire New York Comic Con haul. These are the Funko Shop ones. But this is everything encapsulated that we got... Um, we did not do almost any live shopping, as you heard. This is basically all online, so yeah, that's it. Sorry for this long, long video, but we hope you enjoyed NYCC 2019. Maybe next year, we're going to go. I don't know. We're thinking about it, so we might see you guys there. We Maybe. Yeah, we might, we might see you there. So anyways, we hope you enjoyed this haul. Let us know what your favorite was from this entire haul. Mine was Pez Girl. And she likes Pez Girl. Please subscribe, hit that red button down there, hit that like, let us know if you enjoyed this video as well. Leave a comment again and let us know what your favorite thing was. Again, this is another episode uh, presented by Papa Pops and Mama Pops. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.